Hey, it's Ron, and I'm here with Yaroslav. Yaroslav, and you were going to show me a little bit around business connectivity services. That's right, business with connectivity SharePoint. services. SharePoint. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so maybe you could explain what. Yeah. Well, what is business connectivity services? So are. business BCS, or business connectivity services, is not a new concept. It started in 2007, SharePoint, mm -hmm. um, and in 2007, SharePoint, you can only read data and display it on your on your SharePoint. Um, in, in 2010, now you can read, write, delete. So, in general, from, from a business standpoint, you know you've made all of this investment in your SharePoint as a portal. Now you've upgraded to 2010. Your users are familiar with the user interface. They know what lists are, what calendar is, everything. And now you want to leverage that investment and their familiarity of users with with the SharePoint UI uh, or user interface, and bring external data and make it look like it's a SharePoint list. Okay. Okay. So. I'm going to dumb it down for us dumb guys here. Yeah. You're saying SharePoint, with yeah. SharePoint 2010 mm -hmm. and business connectivity services, I can now connect to any line of business application. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I could connect to my HR system or my accounting system yeah. and pull it, okay. You can, so now you've done some of this, you've done an example for yeah. somebody before and they yes. looking for this. Yeah. So what were they looking for, like what, what is it that they were looking for? Were they connecting to an HR system or an accounting system, which I assume is what yeah. most people are going to? Yeah, connect. I mean, it's it's a very simple technology, uh, you know, that allows you to read write uh, information to another third party system or okay. or a line of business application system. But also, one of the interesting uh, approaches is, for instance, um, there's this example where where the company used a, a third party service uh, that provided a web service endpoint as right. well uh, to. And they provided a research documents to support this particular, uh, you know, particular project. And you know, the users would have to go to that another service. Okay. And then, so what? Well, so there was a SharePoint site for a project. Yes. And it could consume documents provided exactly. by a third party. Exactly. So okay. one of the easiest things to do, leveraging business connectivity services, to connect to that data source, bring it over, so they can see at the glance and one look of their project site. Okay, those are my research documents, and okay. they look like a document library. Right. So. Well, why wouldn't I just use BizTalk Server or Scribe? to integrate SharePoint with my accounting system or my HR system. Because I'm guessing like the most obvious example is I want to pull resources from a project that are yeah. held in our a GP or our accounting system yes. and suck them into the SharePoint site and just right. show them on the side for a project page. Right. So why wouldn't I use BizTalk? Very good question, very common as well, right? So, uh, you know, there's BizTalk that handles transactional data, you know, messaging, verifying the, the correctness of the message and, you know, what, what happens if the system fails, you know, things like that. Right. That's definitely, BCS doesn't do that. But again, BizTalk costs licensing. Implementation, skills, uh, you know, just overall maintenance of the system, you have to have it on a separate server. For simple scenarios like, you know, um, uh, amalgamating something on your project page and retrieving right. it from external, okay. ECS is a solution for okay. you. For so it's not mission critical where I need to batch load orders into yes. an accounting system. If Absolutely. I'm just consuming and writing back some information, for example, resources on a yes. project, and I don't want to spend thirty, fifty thousand dollars on a business cost implementation. Yeah. Yeah. Then um, go with BCS. SharePoint business connectivity services and you can consume stuff. Okay. Yeah, cool. absolutely. Maybe you could show us yeah, an let's, example. Yeah, let's take a look at show us an example. So for instance, cam. Yeah. So for instance, in here, this is our beautiful SharePoint site, right? And mm -hmm. I have a bunch of lists here, like a task list. Well, it's empty now. Calendar list. I'm gonna go to the supplier information list, and this is uh, this is actually looks like a regular list. You can. Oh, okay. Which is something you typically grab from your yeah. accounting system, your exactly. supplier list. Exactly. Okay. But look at this. It has the same kind of. Some of the options are grayed out. Of course, not available with business connectivity, but most of them. Are and you can you know open this particular item. Uh, this actually comes right away live data from our SQL over here in the back end. Okay. Um, Which can, for demo purposes, I guess you just connect. Yeah, to a I'm just connecting to a SQL, but it <coughs> can really connect to anything. Um, and and you can uh, you can you know modify your data here, delete the item, save the item, um, and and pretty much uh, you know. Users are familiar with this particular interface, and, and in this scenario, you're actually writing back to the database too. If you edit yes. the item in SharePoint, it's writing back. It's writing back if I want to, so I can give permissions to what items are going to be shown right. uh, in terms of functionality. Do you want to allow people to edit right. the information or just view the information? Not only that, I can also, 
if I if I don't want users to go into the supplier information, I can just drop this uh, particular view onto my homepage and you know, or in this area of the homepage and actually okay. show that there. And they're coming back as list items, mm -hmm. which means it's very easy for people that have been trained to manage SharePoint mm -hmm. um, to to use and edit use and edit those those items. The functionality. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so cool. hopefully that'll, uh, that'll work. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Very good. And a lot simpler than somebody spending all that money on share, uh, BizTalk or Scribe yeah. if they don't And later on you can, you can you know, enhance your, your capability and you can see the value of BizTalk and implement it as your organization grows. But for right. simple solutions like that, it's almost in indispensable. Yeah. Okay, oh, very good. Uh, where can people find you on the web? Uh, sharemarch.com or you can also find lots of demos of VCS uh, and uh, I also work at KnowledgeTech. Okay, and it's rondajuicy.com and I'm also at KnowledgeTech.